had the pleasure of seeing DeMar DeRozan play. I sit there, I watch the kid um, put in work. He's a good player. And uh, easily, I would say that he is a star. Now, is DeMar DeRozan a superstar? That's another topic. Uh, is DeMar DeRozan the reason that the Spurs won't make the playoffs for the first time in 22 years? Yeah. You have to put a lot of that blame on him. He's been there just for a small amount of time. But uh, if you look at the likes of Kawhi Leonard and Tim Duncan, they literally put this franchise on their shoulders. Yeah, and they carry. The link for this article will be right below in the description. So, yep, it's true, and these are facts. The Spurs' 22-year playoff streak snapped with Suns win versus the Mavericks. Now, for the first time since 1997, the Spurs failed to qualify for the NBA playoffs. So the Spurs' postseason hopes were hanging by a thread despite the fact they were riding a three-game winning streak with one game to play. The Suns delivered the final blow with a victory over the Mavs on Thursday. So here's a tweet from Mark Stein saying it'll be official in mere minutes, the first sub-500 season for Greg Popovich since 96-97. is also the Spurs' first non-playoff season since, you guessed it, 96-97. Now, that's a streak that, <laughs> wow, that's almost unbelievable. That streak is almost as unbelievable as the Undertaker streak was uh, at WrestleMania. But Tim Duncan near the end of his career, the succession plan was clear. Kawhi, the claw, would become the franchise cornerstone, much the same way Duncan inherited the mantle from David Robinson. The plan unraveled when Leonard was limited to six games in 2017-2018, and we all remembered he demanded a trade. Now, uh, San Antonio dealt Leonard to the Raptors in return. Yep, they got DeMar DeRozan, and uh, LaMarcus Aldridge has been playing there for the last couple of years, but we all know Aldridge is just <laughs> regular that's not a superstar people they're trying to mold lamar aldridge to be this mammoth of a uh nba superstar but he's just regular is if it's not in you bro it's not in you we see if it's in you after your first four to five years and it's not in aldridge but anyways san antonio's um 10.7 made three points per game or 26 in the nba the team is ninth in offense but uh, that's not enough. A decline in everything has made San Antonio back to being just a regular season team, not a playoff team, and back to the drawing board. Now, DeRozan has a $27.7 million player option for 2021. A four-time All-Star could opt out in pursuit of a long-term contract, uh, or he might decide the timing isn't ideal. And... <laughs> if the the Rosen leaves, then perhaps the Spurs would consider moving Aldridge since he only has one more year left. Uh, paying the 35 year old big man 24 million doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, let's be honest. Um, <laughs> most of the NBA players are only in the league for the bag. That's it. They want the bag. They want a long term contract. Most of these players can care less about getting a chip because money clouds your mind. Like, who gives a fuck about a ring when I have a $130 million contract? <laughs> I don't even have to play good. So, uh, in, 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 a, in a sense, they're already spoiled before they get their goods. And, and it's all due to the fact that the NBA made their contracts this way. But... Most of these players are not uh, grinding like Tim Duncan and David Robinson. These guys were focused on, you know, point A, we dominate the regular season. Point B, we dominate the playoffs. Point C, we dominate the finals and get a championship. If that's not your goal, <laughs> then you don't need to be playing in the NBA. And that's what every coach uh, that I ever played for 
ever said about a game that you love, uh, don't play it just for fun, play it for love. You have to have compassion for this. The money and everything else will come eventually. But in this case, it's time for change, and uh, we have seen it right in front of our eyes. Maybe this is the end for Greg Popovich. That's another thing. You know, you can only win all the time for so long. <laughs> you can't do nothing forever. Every streak comes to an end. We have seen the greatest streaks of all time come to an end. Uh, remember that Bulls streak? Hey, the Golden State Warriors beat it. What do you guys think about the Spurs not making the playoffs for the first time in 22 years? And like this video, leave your comments, share this on Instagram and Twitter. Subscribe.